Well, time to start heading to this other main door of Dragon Sanctum or this pyramid like structure of quite ominous or would I say not so particularly ominous but quite an ominous appearance well it's just as ominous as any other really derelict, derelict old and quite forgotten temple or place of worship is especially if it still is not completely forgotten as in there are still some thing left but I don't think in Dark Souls universe archaeology is such a big deal knowing that there's nobody dying so there's no way for you to actually f find any forgotten places or stuff because hey mostly most of those dudes who made all those forgotten places to happen are still around and there's uh, some sort of knight and he's not so much of a meant to power to scale but but these humanoid enemies are usually the most annoying things to fight but he was stupid enough to s remain standing and he got himself carved to bits because of that and there's a uh, one of those guys carrying a crossbow and being hidden by that spinny wheel thing but unlucky for him I don't play fair Uh, there's no treasure here. He got it. Nothing. Well, let's just turn ahead. And let's just turn this too. That has an interesting s shift. Hey, this there was these jewel bugs or however you want to call them. And there's nothing here. Oh damn. But this is the interior of this sanctum. Place meant to be a place of worship. But also I got really started to do a bit of thinking about this whole concept of uh, child of dark as in when in the Dark Souls 1 with the DLC you fight against Manus father of darkness and he, it's assumed that he is somebody who had a con uh, he was either a human or a pygmy who had con 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 connection with dark, the dark soul the, from that and that power made him or that association made him some sort of pariah at least in eyes of Gwyn who was some sort of god figure Od almost, I'd say more like Odin like figure 
and that eventually became he, well he eventually went insane with with that being a jo da that being a but hey he became went insane and he was locked up to that chasm of abyss with had lots of humanity in it so may, uh, I guess something like the dark is humanity gone gone way too far excessively so you become mindless and of course being a boss monster and, and bonus boss and DLC boss monster means he must, he must he also became very strong and powerful and aggressive but basically so much humanity very much humanity makes you insane in the long run and that's what man has happened and he went that but of course in many these kind of m what kind of mythical things the it was he well uh, there's nothing mentioned what happened to Manus's body afterwards the mythical Artorias which is to say the player character defeated Manus but it could be assumed that he it went to bro broke down went to pieces and of course those pieces are some sort of remnants of creatures of great power will and determination and with that they became they well they retained some of the p power and i believe that the place where a uh, dark chasm of the old where dark lurker lurked in dark that's why it's called dark lurker was perhaps the most uh, might not be the most powerful or most smartest part but the, perhaps one of the most notable parts of Manus and that dark chasm itself was some sort of perhaps it was the remnants of the uh, actual chasm of the uh, dark chasm or, or dark chasm of the abyss from which in Manus decided I don't remember the actual name, name and those ghosts were those followers of or what whatever remained after those ghost monsters and which eventually be humanity monsters which eventually became those humanoid ghosts and things there so in that sense you could say that the man manners is human went was broken down but uh, some uh, but of course when something is broken that means there's more than one piece of it and the appearance of well some of those bits went to moving uh, or migrated and they were they became these and they all came to places where uh, there were powerful humans, they used to say kings, for ancient great kings. Kings like Old Iron King or the Sunken King, which is in here, or the Ivory King, which is another place. But any case, and they did had some sort of influ influences there. The older, uh, when the Shard of Dark, it was called Nadalia, came to place of old iron king the king even wasn't there so Natalia just overtook the place and eventually broke down and went quite nothing being well nothing really too crazy powerful or well she herself it was remained some quite potent and dangerous but what she actually did become was no nothing. Uh, sh there was no king for her for it to manipulate or scheme. Uh, uh, she in inherited a place where well, she in inherited an empty kingdom built by a mad king, re which remained out of mad king gone mad by 
his obsession with iron, that's why he was called Iron King. And eventually became the old Iron King by gaining age. But the second one came to this place, the sunken Shulva sunken city, but in here there has been no kind of any kind of appearance about the king, but the dragon has very kingly feel, as in it's you you can't put a dragon to a game in fiction, at least Western styled fiction, which Dark Souls is, even though this is very Japanese game product. Dragons are important. And they are so important that you just don't put them there as a run of the mill en enemy things, at least not without some sort of plot significance. And when thing or kind of dragon like things have appeared in Dark Souls, they've had lots of meaning, like seize the scales who betrayed other dragons because of their Im immortality and he himself wasn't immortal but actually that Chris primordial crystal he had made him quite practically immortal so in a sense yeah uh, but it's also but of course being an immortal doesn't necessarily mean you cannot be killed Dragon's rest. So, and uh, of course, knowing how powerful dragons are, I have no doubt that they there were, were some sort of mm, what could be the word? Uh, well, the drag drag as well being big, strong and scary creature, dragons are worth worshipping, you know. And possibly if they were also immortal, that at least to an age, that also means they are worth of more worshipping. But it's time to summon some help, because behind that door lies something powerful and scary. And I'm asking aid from a couple of phantoms. Hello, Ben Hart. Sorry, but I have your sword, which you have given to me in past or future. But time to go in. And here it is. And there is some sort of mural of a big dragon. And that what is one of Elana, the squalid queen, a child of dark, who came to the sunken city. And, well, and whatever she took to here, came here to do, some, it had something to do with the dragon. And damn. But she is of course like many powerful characters of Dark Souls series. Something like a humanoid figure. Larger than a player or a player is mostly because to be you must be big to be to be, have intimidating and be you know something the player can actually see. Well, but I'm using my old grind and true, true tactics of practical cowardice. That is to say, I am staying quite far allowing my phantoms to take the most of that physical damage heat and I'm just delivering sucker punches to enemy until she kills over and of course Elana can summon some uh, skeleton monsters I don't know from mud or something because this was sunken place it's wet 
damp and it has toxins and of course in the beginning it was very big and important city in which the very painful white dra hurt looking dragon was but I, uh, it's really hard to say what is the po what was the task of that big dragon was it some sort of well it it certainly has been um, important as there is this huge mural of it and the queen got for his own version of Velsta, the ages and that's not too good, good as well does the poison actually affect the spawn well then heart went down oh fuck but luckily I managed to get over the combo attack. Well, oh damn, looks like... My ghosts are dead. I must fight him. Fight it. Or her. However you, want, however you should call that. And Queen herself is not too dangerous but it's the fact that this I have he's got well start being as a support makes it a bit more difficult or should I fo focus on oh shit and of course they know how to play a double game Good. Now, uh, now your hench boy summoned from the dirt is no more than sooner. There's no more of you, lady. Be a child, children of the dark. They'll spawn or whatever. You are going down. Uh, the squalid queen Elana has been vanquished. I took her soul. And there's that mural. She clearly was worshipping or something somehow using. And now it opens. Vigor or death. Well, I took vigor. She and she's pretty quite a nasty boss. And there's more ghosts to be summoned here. And there's a bonfire. And I'm gonna use it. And I'm also gonna summon help. Human help first. Because I'm a cheap scrubber, I don't play this game nice and fairly. I play this game to defeat it and I want to do it as fast as possible. Or about as fast as possible as I can. Hello my summoned aid. I will greet you with a bow. And of course more of these some aid summons. And now it is time to go face. In this bleak hillscape and pillars going forward. And the dragon is awake. 
seen the Sumberling Dragon. I don't know what to say, when a dragon is called Sin, it probably doesn't mean it's friendly. And it spews fire and it's poisonous fire. I don't know how. Is, is it some sort of... Does it spew... Uh, is it some kind of... A big blast of fire again, and po with poison. Oh yeah, is it some sort of uh, tricolor and fluoride it spits out? Because that's stuff which b makes it burn and it's horrifyingly poisonous. Nasty as hell and causes big amount of fire. But Sin is a really dragon. He's fast, he's brutal, he's, and he knows how to fly. But unlike Kalani, who was black and actually looked pretty healthy, this one doesn't. This is white, or but dirty white. And it's wounded, that's scary. And a big blast of fire. Oh, and it swooped on me, and it breaks down places. And that poison cloud, toxin cloud, not fun. Not the most brave record of fighting things, but when you are facing a huge, gigantic dragon which spews fire and which is poisonous as hell, something like a s s fire which burns and after burning it, it makes a cyanide, makes cyanide, clouds of cyanide, you really don't want to be any You don't want to be play nice or friendly against that kind of thing, and it doesn't want to fight, and it's not so eager fighting. It can fly, so of course it's going to use it to fly. Unlike Kalani, who was injured, so he can't fight. And it. Uh, has been slain. The slumbering dragon Sin is dead. And that dragon was not a easy fight. He is actually quite nasty, but I, I did have uh, aid assistance, that's why it may I, I, it was possible for me to defeat him with quite ease. Crown of the Sunken King. Now I have three crowns and there's only one place to, for me to go and take it, which is the Frozen Elium Lois, and there is the Crown Ivory King and the last... Actually, the second to last Child of Dark. And what is this? Yorg's Ring. But I have more or less defeated every monstrosity of this place. Sunken City, place which but I still am a bit wondering what what kind of relationship there was was between Squalid Queen and Sin. It's a really wondering, so wondering. But Sin was some kind of king figure to this place. That's why it had the it had the crown. Not it not that it guarded the crown. It had the crown. But then I guess it's frozen Ilium Loisi next. Now I'm at the frozen Ilium Loise, the play or Loise, how, however you want to pronounce it, the place where you are not welcome, but not in a sense that, which is usually a matter of Dark Souls of saying that local inhabitants or whatever are mindlessly aggressive towards everybody and anybody who is not them and attacks you on sight to kill you on sight. But well, this place, place is not that kind. Well, it is partially that kind, but there's also this... Well, I haven't been able to ca capture it, mostly because it's just only very small, momentary, of those warning 
speak, speaking war spoken warnings about death, destruction, and despair. Which, of course, knowing that this is Dark Souls, they are the basic thing you can expect to find in around. So there's no reason for you to take any extra extra warning about them. And of course there's also this huge blizzard around here not, which makes lighting of torches quite impossible but the place is not li is luckily not dark. So there's nothing to be worried about that way. And there's some sort of big significant thing. Time to take it. And that that slab is clearly a grave. I took the eye of the priestess. I don't know what it is. It must have done something very important. Let's try to check this. Does not open from this side and to go forward. And there's one of the many guards of this place. It's got some sort of hammer, shield, and it's hostile. And it's got also wears a uh, quite fancy armor, but it goes down when you use the big spiky, spiky stick. Morning star, very. In Dark Souls what it wasn't so useful weapon, but in this one it's very useful weapon. Some consumable useful goodies and time to go through the mist door or let's hope yep there's no boss monster here but there are some and a bonfire which that might be called a way to get your progress saved. Let's, down, let's pull the hat lever just to open a path. And just to be sure, let's use the bonfire. And this is some sort and now we are some sort of within, uh, within some sort of wall structures of the Elium Loise, not well, luckily those sorcery th dudes are quite frail so you can just pepper them full of arrows And he's sh you shooting ice attacks at me. Well, those ice attacks are not any kind of special elemental things because these DLCs did not do not add any, you could say, new mechanics to the game. They just add more enemies, more places. More, they are no new mechanics, just a new game, just more game. Which is actually very, in a sense, quite good concept about how DLC should work. Not necessarily be any changes to the actual game. Just if there is actual change to the game, that's the, they are that is to be made with updates. But if you uh, but you are not gonna make DLCs to add new mechanics to the game. You're just gonna add more game to the game. Levels, guns, weapons, up. Lots of all kind of things you're gonna add to the game. G g gameplay, that is to say, you add gameplay with DLCs, not game mechanics or anything. Uh, what might be attack about to attack me? 
Holy Knight Arheim. And where is that dude? Well, those are not dark spirits, they are just cockroaches or whatever you want to call them. Annoyances. Alone, they would be quite ins uh, insignificant, but when there's more than one of them at the same time coming at you, they are dang they become dangerous so that's that's when you try to get them not do that fuck oh, the, oh, I did slaughter up the bastards who killed me and I also slaughtered up that invading knight who was actually nothing really interesting just a computer controlled invader nothing more nothing less just that but the uh, weather is still quite de 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 has deteriorated pretty bad and this actually brings me to place where the whole frozen helium loss begins so let's just go quite closer to this place oh, hmm. that actually leads to a boss encounter so I'm gonna do some prep work for that now oh, I have some aid called, so time to go and face whatever thing is in here. It's a circling grip. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's warning. But, and uh, what might be over there? broad wall of the city in a blizzard and there that's uh, some sort of ice tiger yes indeed an ice tiger knowing magics yep that kind of concepts can only appear in video games or tabletop role-playing games ice tiger which knows magic uh, and, and is actually larger than any tiger ever That's uh, something like an elephant sized tiger. And of course, it's doing using those spells. Yep, and uh, the king's pet armor. And of course, being a pet. Well, means it must have a master, which is the king. Or it be something which we, we wanted to be in the old... But what is this old chaos this voice warned about? Oh shit. And once again it summons the magics. Oh shit. Luckily only one of them hit. It's a fucking huge tiger. Oh shit. And it's jumping me. Come on. Those kind of grapple attacks are worse in these games. Mostly because they tend to... Yeah, they're telegraphed, yes, but they also are extremely damaging and usually something that when, once the first part of them hits you or whatever you cannot avoid the way fuck I died now oh, that eye of the priestess actually is a very in a sense important object as it well it made possible to see Bava but it also makes these night guys visible normally this part of wall would be quite impossible to get over because of these invisible 
dudes. And now, when they are not invisible, they are not so dangerous. Dangerous, yes, but not so dangerous. Are they some kind of... Well, they are some sort of knight characters or something. Mostly because Dark Souls is more or less filled with armored warriors of all kinds. Most, mostly, the, well, they are hostile armored warriors, but still armored warriors. And there's, there was nothing here except those uh, invisible guys and a frozen virus contraption. In this place there was a bit of a visual glitch on my part, mostly because that down route leads to the Eye of Pri Priestess this place. But these ladder lead up and I had check investigated this place before, so time to go up here and see what's up. Oh shit, that was dumb. Going up to see what's up. Yeah. Real lame. Yeah man. I'm cool. Oh yeah, that was even more, even worse pun, pun or whatever. Splintering lightning spear. That's magic. So trying to jump over this pathway. Oh yes. And there's a doogie. It's dead. Yep, this place ain't so hospitable. Not particularly friendly climate in here. But then again in video games climate usually doesn't matter so much, it's just a piece of set set it's just another piece of setting well now the doggies are dead too and to loot the corpse not much he had it in there and I'll open this door and see where it leads oh well, let's try another tactic. I don't know does it work would it work or not, but hell. It might. I'm trying soloing with magics. Mostly because not when it's soloing I can Alright that Well my melee seems to be doing quite good. But magics don't seem so powerful. Oh. oh damn, that hurt, but... Oh shit. Ice spikes. You look, you missed. Oh, well, at least, well, there's, there is that fun one thing about this game is that when you get assistance to bosses, you will, they will get health, meaning once you have, once you are su sufficiently nasty bosses, you, it becomes actually easier to just go against them by yourself because that they their attack power just goes up eventually this game so becomes so that any armor is completely useless you just can't wear armor it doesn't protect you enough to be viable method of playing this game so you will have to learn the agile dodging style of gameplay eventually. That of course depends how far you actually wanna think that might be. 
Oops. Well, luckily, but the first one knocked me down and the other ones missed because of that. Yeah, I, I, judging by my damage levels and how much he's been taking damage, I'm taking a going to a solo fight. Might have been the better idea. Oh, come on, tiger! You are bigger. Oh damn it! Not the smart move. Come on! Whoops! Nice kitty. Big kitty. Are you a Norwegian forest? Are you related to Norwegian forest cats? Because they are big ones. Oh, main coons. They are even bigger ones. But I guess the Norwegian forest cats are the European really big <laughs> feline. Sorry, King's pet, but you are slain. Soul of Ava, the King's pet. Well, whoever was there, now I'm going to say hello. I don't want to be violent. I don't want to be excessively aggressive. I don't want to be aggressive or violent. I just want to go and say Hello. So there are big, big double doors. And of course they can be opened. Grand and Grand Cathedral. Well, Grand Entry for Grand Cathedral. Somehow that feels appropriate. Time to open a bonfire and there's a statue. Big statue. So, of course, this place has purpose. And. Well. Ice. Another pa pair of grand doors, and I go open them too. And this must be the cathedral itself. It looks bleak, but also beautiful. And there's some person up there. Let's see, is there anything behind that? And there are lots of these ice things around, making pathway entry difficult. Time to have a chat. Well, it was. I do not know. Very. He did something. He did very things same as Vendrick did. He was a great king, and he. That that's the story of Vendrick. That is very noble of you. Perhaps one day he will return. Well, that means his crown must be returned for the one who has the crown is the king. 
and in the, these the olden days the best way to get the king become crowned from king is to tear it from his removed head I have but one wish. what is your desire lady So he must die. I have no strength to help myself. But perhaps one such as you. You mean an undead abomination? Though I am yet to know your name, stranger. Will you lend me your strength? Yes, I will. I am not kind, I am selfish. And I even don't know why am I doing this. I really can't remember. So that means all those icy bit chunks around here are now open. I guess I must become that too, you know, king. And I, so I must get some backup. So, I guess I must get some backup. And then, well, I'll go and of course loot this place first, then get some backup, and then go to kill the Ivory King. Or better say, go release him from his whatever madness he is in. But that's the top of top time of job of the next time. And I'll see you then. See ya. Oh, wandering around. I found this room within Elium Lois, and he looks grim, and he rises up. Do not attack me. No. He is not attacking. He was one of the knight of knights of Elium Lois. And he is ready to face chaos.